Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight we are going to travel back to Texas and we're going to do uh, this bastard right here. This is Seersucker, San Antonio, Texas. Now, I'm sure you've seen this gin uh, out there in liquor stores and, and then thought maybe something like, ah, it's not real gin. But, it is. Uh, it's a grain-based spirit. And the botanicals are cardamom, coriander, honey, juniper, of course, lemon, mint, and orange. So, I mean, that's not too bad. Now, they call this a southern style gin. Uh, so, it's not a London dry. The iconic uh, seersucker pattern is synonymous with the warm and inviting nature of southern hospitality. So it was only natural that we would name this incredible, incredibly approachable spirit seersucker, Southern Style Gin. Our slow copper pot distillation process in combination with the recipe of light juniper, citrus, and a unique blend of honey and mint uh, makes seersucker by far one of the most flavorful gins you will ever experience. We'll see. Enjoy it with friends, family, and strangers because you're invited. Here is the bottle. I like the punt there, as you can see. It's good for display. Um, <laughs> there's the bottom of it. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Uh, and then here's the back. What I just read to you and to the... Oh, there I am. To the front. There it is. Okay. It's a good caliber glass. It's very strong. It's very sturdy. Thick. The bottle itself, it's almost like a plain Jane. Uh, I do like the actual pattern on it. I think it's cool. I like how it's uh, this way, you see, with the label. I, just, I don't know. I think that's cool, too. Plus, you know, it's made here in the States, so... Alright, I see a cork in here, and I also see one of these horrible things. it open, shall we? <laughs> the cork is pine. It's painted. Uh, it's fake. Well, let's see what the old Nashers do to this. Okay. It's very light. Uh, it's sweetness in it. You can smell the sweetness. There's like lemon lime notes, citrusy, um, but then the juniper is there, but it's, it is very, very uh, low in the background. Let's see what happens when we do it right. Forty-two percent. It feels a little stronger than that. And burn is um, it's just where I like a burn to be. It is slow starter. It's about right here now, right there. Um, and it's traveling in a slow pace, but it's expanding. This cooling though of mint that I I am tasting, like it's it's almost like. Like a like a Newport <laughs> cigarette in a way, but no tobacco whatsoever. Obviously, it's like if you have some uh, lamb and you had mint, mint jelly with it. That's almost how the mint tastes now. The initial palate, it's much like the nose. It's surprisingly bright and sweet and citrusy. Not a bad gin at all. It's just got the stigma attached to it because they make so many of those, like I said, those flavored ones. All right, so we're gonna do our GNT. I have two ounces of the sear sucker right there, beautifully. Now I'm going to squeeze all this citrus in, so we're just gonna go all out right now and just do it. Tonic, we have citrus, all of the important citrus. I have orange. 
orange in there, I have grapefruit, I have lemon, and I have lime. No pomelos. I did look, though. Mm. It's a very flavorful gin and tonic. It's very clean. It has the citrus up front instead of the juniper. If you're a citrus fan of gin, then this would be a good gin to try. Juniper is there, but it's not up front. It's a damn fine cocktail. Very tropical. It's very flavorful. It has everything you would want out of a gin and tonic. You're sitting on the beach, and someone comes up and they hand this to you. Who knows who? But if they do that, you're going to be very happy. Okay. Another great review. I had a good time. Uh, from me to you to you to me and to everyone in the middle out there from sea to shining sea. We'll do it again on the flip side and uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Talk to you again. Ciao. Yeah,